Hey guys, today we're going to go over how to mount your CRMDs to your favorite shotgun. Alright, so we're going to start with preparing our threads. We're going to clean them um, with our wire brush and then we're going to clean them with acetone. So we'll just get all the debris off here. Make sure everything's good and clean. Alright, looking pretty good there. Go ahead and get some acetone. Wipe those threads off. Now that it's all clean, I recommend a light drop of a little blue Loctite on top. And now we'll go ahead and take our over the barrel CRMD in this case, and we'll thread it over the top here. We will take our torque wrench, and in this case, we'll set it to 155 inch pounds. We'll go ahead and torque this to spec. Come on. Two. And you're on. Is there a reason why this one has some threads showing and like for instance this barrel down here is flush all the way to the muzzle? Yeah, a lot of the times on the over the barrel device, mm -hmm. you need it to index on the front of the barrel. Ah. So it's actually gonna hit up here first and leave a little bit on the back. So um, that's by design. So now we're gonna move the factory choke and install our CRMD. So this is a choke tool that came with this Super Black Eagle. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the factory choke now. So there you have it, that's factory choke. This one is a uh, steel shot. All right, at this point, we're gonna take our CRMD and we're going to install it in the shotgun. Like in a lot of our other videos, we're gonna use a tiny bit of blue Loctite. Apply one basic drop to the threads and we're gonna do the install. This is a cylinder choke, so you can fire the weapon with or without the suppressor on it, and you'll get a cylinder size pattern. And that torque wrench was set to 155 inch pounds. And now your CRMD is installed.